Hello and welcome to Arcadeasy. You probably faced uh, the situation that you have a very nice texture in Revit, but you have a problem to control it. Let's say that you would like to align it to the certain side of the wall or of the floor, and you cannot do that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix that, and I'm also going to teach you how you can create a pattern from scratch in Revit. And just before I move to the topic, I would like to invite you to join our community of architects. It's free to join and we also have a free Revit training there. You can find the access link in a video description. I'm in Revit right now and as you can see in front of me I have a floor which is 5 by 5 meters. And let's go to 3D. So as you can see here there is no textures and also there is no any patterns assigned to this floor. And let's say that I would like to place some nice Enscape material, for example. And let's take this Wood 06 Chevron. So I'm going to select this one, Import Selection. And then I will go to Modify and I will go to Paint Tool. So let's find this. It's here, Wood 06 Chevron. And then, then just paint this surface of the floor. And now when I go to Textures, you see how it looks like. And also if I go to the floor and Textures, you will see that... It's here and by the way in this case it's perfectly aligned but what's going on if I for example move this side of the floor a little bit so we have this end and it's not finished and by the way uh, let's say that we would like to in our case like you see that alignment starts here but let's say that we would like to control alignment let's say that we would like this line to start here so to move it like this and then also I will just make zoom in. Let's say that we also would like to make that then it doesn't start like this from here. Let's say that we would like to also have this point here. So how we can make it. In Revit we have to use align tool to be able to do that. So if I go to align here and if I click align on this side of, of the floor, you see that the texture is grayed out. So there is nothing I can align. And the reason is because we have no pattern. So what we have to do is to create pattern and first of all uh, we need to do some kind of investigation so I will go to manage materials and then this wood of six chevron let's click here on the texture and I will zoom this a little bit so in this case you see that we have texture which is one by one meter and let's say that our texture start from from here so alignment you see starts from here from the middle and then we have one two three four like this and then one two three four below but we also have to make one more investigation because you see that here it's not it's not ending so it's not like this we have some kind of gap you see this one uh, and in that case I will also go here to the plan because you see that we have a perfect alignment from here and then I will create one detail line and then I'm gonna let's turn on a tick line so TL is a shortcut I'm gonna copy this for one meter and then one more detail line in this case and then I will copy this one for 500 because we said that alignment starts from 500 and then one more here so as I said, alignment is, is starting from here and then I'm going to take this by 45 degrees. I will turn off the lines in this case. And then you see a line uh, here with the blue and I can, for example, go here to the offset or before I go to the offset, I will take, I will measure dimensions. So from here, perpendicular to here, we have 101. And let's take this one and then go to offset and take 101 and then do the same thing below and I can in this case for example go select detail lines HI to isolate them and then I will for example trim this because this field is one by one meters and I will create a detail line here from middle. And then let's trim, let's trim everything. So 
So now I can I can select all of them, exclude those two vertical and mm mirror hr to reset and then let's go to thin lines. So in this case you see that the texture is perfectly aligned. I can in this case maybe move this out. So for example, I will just move it here so we have let's say better overview. I will delete those two lines because I don't want they to repeat in our texture. Now what I would like to do out of those detail lines is to create pattern. So first of all, I'm going to select them all. Then we'll go to Pi Revit and we'll go here to create pattern. So make pattern. I'm going to name this one as Architizi Chevron. I would like to create model pattern. So the real size. And then I will just click here, create pattern. And then you see I need to pick original bottom left corner of the pattern area. So it's this one, then the top right corner, it's this one, and then the pattern has been created. So right now, if I go to manage and if I go to materials, I can go to graphics. And in this case, for the foreground, I can pick model and then let's go and find Architizi Chevron. So it's here. And I can also make this red color so we can see it better. And by the way, if I go here to texture alignment, you will see how it aligns. So let's click OK in this case. And let's go now here, for example, to the hidden line. So you see that we can see our texture. And I can do the same, for example, here in our 3D view. But let's say that I would like to create alignment for our plan view. What I need to do is to go to modify take align tool and as I said I would like to align this vertical line with this side of the floor so I need to click on a floor first then on this line and then that's it but what's going on if I would like to align this corner here with this one so in that case I can create detail line for example so maybe something like this and then align to this one and then click here and in this case, for example, you see that we have, let's say, uh, this vertical also moved. So I can maybe do something like this. I can select this one and I can take move. So move it from here to here. And then you see that we have a perfect alignment. And that's the way how you can control your textures and your alignment. So what you need to do basically is to investigate the texture and to create the model pattern for it. If you're willing to support Architizi to continue creating good content more often, you can do that by joining to our Architizi Plus group.